Today's dish. Yeah, I'll sponsored by uh, Stone Academy for the first time since 1968. Major League Baseball will start the season with every one of its teams scheduled to play on opening day, which is today. We are pumped up now. Everybody's talking about Mother Nature not quite, quite coordinating for a lot of these different teams. A little bit of snow oh, there. I'd say. <laughs> Washington Nationals, Cincinnati Reds, their game's already postponed. But the good news is Yankees, Red Sox will still play. They're playing in Dome Stadiums today. I know you're a big Mets fan, which I'm is sort down. of a crazy concept. <laughs> I don't know how that quite Oh, yeah, happens. it's so crazy. All right. Yankees, Red Sox, who, who are you guys voting for? Sh shout it out here in the studio. Yankees. Yankees. All right. All right. Yankees. So a lot we have of three Yankee people in here. here. Okay, all right. <laughs> we actually have uh, some photos of our MVP seasons here. Mm. Let's see. This oh, is me. Oh, there you are. Wait, how old were you? Uh, this was like last week. Um, but really, you played in college. You're quite the baseball no, player. Let's I, I, be honest. I played for like a week in college. This was my Little League team, the Cardinals, uh, Edgewood Little League in Bristol, Connecticut. So this year, I think I batted 129 with oh, like 300 there I am. strikeouts. I used to hit lead off at uh, good old, I think that was Memorial. That so was my middle Pomper school. But I also oh. played at Pomper, but Pomper I think that was middle high. school. I think that was eighth grade. Do you have any records? No, no, absolutely not. Like most beautiful <laughs> shortstop of all time. It's kind of you. No, Where no, I played second base. Today, I guess. All right, well. What is this? Oh, no, a collector's item? They just handed me a baseball bat. What? It says your name on no, it. Though. No, it does, no it does. let's get this thing out of here. Can somebody, Tom, can you, we'll, we'll just throw that over there. there. You know, oh, but it's fun. That means spring is on the way, right? I know. Finally. Finally, a sign of spring. Baseball is back, so we're pumped up about it. And of course, uh, we have so much coverage of the Yankees this year on yeah. MyTV9. John Pearson does an awesome job with that. Right, with our friend Rob Dibble. He'll be yeah. back, so we're looking forward to that. All right, moving on now. They say curiosity killed the cat, but clearly not this one. No, this was Britton Hayes <laughs> and his spring break through the Serengeti, which uh, is a oh unique spring goodness. break to say the least. This is what happened. He was on a wild safari when all of a sudden these friendly cats just happened to... Do you to think they're friendly? Die. Really? Well, no, they... We're on skates, so I guess everything worked out okay. Three cheetahs, one job jumped on top of the uh, thing there, and then one decided to crawl in. Oh, they're, and, the and windows are open. Yeah. Hey, wow. how are you? And this... nobody panicked? No, this is normal? <laughs> I'm sure there was a bit of panic, but everybody was okay. I, I Oh, my gosh, look at that. That is scary Yikes. stuff. Okay. Not Just my cup of tea for spring break. Sit still. Don't do anything. <laughs> but it's funny because they were saying that the, the, the cheetahs were all okay. I, I, you know, the cheetahs were okay. Right. I'm like, what? we're worried what about, about the, the cheetahs. Humans? Right. The humans are the ones to, yeah. All right. So the most popular dog. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I know you love your, shih your Shih Tzu. Yes. However, lab lovers, this is all about you. The Labrador Retriever is the most popular breed of dog for the 27th year in a row. Hard to wow. believe, huh? We had a lab for probably 15 years. Willie. Got Willie. him in Wilton, so Aww. his name was Willie. <laughs> so, so what would you name Sid now? What, what town did you get? Sid? Oh, Sid came from somewhere in Tennessee. She's uh, a rescue mutt. Oh, I know, but cute. we love her. Anyway, uh, they have great temperaments. They're good with uh, kids, and that's probably why they're so popular. Yeah. Other dogs near the top of the list? German Shepherds, Golden Retrievers, uh, and then we also have the French Bulldog making the list there. How cute is that? No gotta Shih love those puppies. There. No, unfortunately, maybe next year. I, I, I gotta promote the Shih Tzus more. They're great. I mean, I like the hypoallergenic hair. That's yeah. huge. Yeah, you, you don't have to pick anything up. It's all just, you know, it's easy. Easy, all right. easy, easy. Now, so, haters going to hate. That this next story, it's all about Kelly Ripa. She posed in a bikini on, online. Good her, for her, I yeah, say. She's 47. Her husband, Mark, he posted this photo of her on the beach. I think she looks pretty darn good, but some of his followers were saying, hey, you're 47. Maybe you shouldn't be in a bikini, but... Why he wouldn't you be it. if you look like, like she that. does? Yeah. She's wearing a bikini at 47 and will no doubt, he says, wear one for many years to come. If that offends you in some way, if it triggers you, I suggest you get over it and get used to it. Peace out. See you later. There you right? go. From her husband. I think that's lovely. They've been married 21 years. Hard to believe. And I, I, my girlfriend tells me to put my shirt on now. Uh, I can't imagine in, in 21 years what she'll be saying. <laughs> we, well, I hope you look like Kelly Ripa. Then. Thank you. Oh, I, I guess that's I a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> She's in great shape. Right. All right, so on the market for an engagement ring. I am not. No, Are you? No, maybe no? someday. All right, it's a 6.16 carat blue diamond. That is quite the rock right there. That is going to go on wow. sale in May for the first time in its 300-year history at an auction. This is like something from Titanic. Yeah, they found it in India, the same mine that produced the Hope Diamond. It was given to the Queen of Spain back in the 1700s. She passed it through hands of royalty from four different European dynasties. Oof, the diamond's top estimated sales price is just over 
five million dollars. <laughs> okay, so experts say that it could go for more than that, and you can see it in Singapore, Taipei, London, New York, and Geneva before the auction. So if you're bored and want to go check it out in person, that's where you it's go. It's impressive. Wild. I don't know who can afford that. Yeah. Hmm.